The last topic is automation, possibly the biggest one. Where do we even start with this? And I suppose I would probably ask the first question to you, Paul. Oh, can I not throw it to him? <laughs> we I'm, can. No. I, I, the, the problems here is the first thing to talk about. And the problems are, again, we keep saying it, when, when the spindle's not being utilised or being used. That's where your, your efficiency goes out the window when that spindle's stopped. By automating the machine, you are going to eradicate that from happening. You're also going to mean that operators can go and do other things in the machine shop. Um, so really, the automation is becoming so, so crucial to making a, a VMC more efficient. Be interesting to see what the results of the survey are, which we'll, we'll talk about shortly, because I've got a prediction that I think people will be very, very wrong, because I think the efficiency of these machines isn't what people think. Mm. There are many solutions, and I know Geo is going to mention a few as well, and he'll probably talk about some of the ones I mentioned here, but you can use cobots that you can, you know, manually kind of move to to show them what the path is to load parts and take parts out of the machines. You can use uh, palletization systems, yeah. pallets that you can attach to a vertical machining center, like, um, you know, uh, the, Ma the Mayan system or a Mydeco yeah. system that can keep uh, pallets moving in and out. There are sort of like the, the XYZ systems where the, the, the Robo 10, where you actually can move it from one machine to another. Yes. And you've got drawers that, that you fill up. Mill CNC do one as well. Fanuc do them too. And in fact, Herco, Herco do, do one, one as well. So there's plenty of these pallet systems that will enable you. And they're very, very easy to program. They've developed their control systems. So even, you know, even the, the, a person with the most limited experience on a machine can can work these things. They've merged them together. They, they want to, at the end of the day, they want to sell a vertical machine center and they've got something else to sell that works with it. So they're going to make it as in simpatico together as possible. In simpatico. Oh, what a simpatico, word. simpatico, word. simpatico together, <laughs> together. And by the way, I'll I've get been... some people on the thesaurus and <laughs> the dictionary going, it make sense, that doesn't. <laughs> Lovely word. Even yeah. it's, it, there's that. two words, it's two words. <laughs> Lovely words. In simpatico. Uh, Go on, carry on. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to give Dyson a call, actually. I love your <laughs> invention. I think that, that's got legs. <laughs> um, in, in regards to solutions, Paul, blimey, there's so many. I think that how many shops I've visited over the years where the last machine to be automated would be a three-axis uh, three uh, VMC. Very rare I see a three-axis VMC automated. And if you can automate it, whether you're doing low-volume work or high-volume like, work like we've mentioned, imagine the instantaneous... Uh, oh. productivity, ga product productivity gains okay. um, that you would get um, from that. In regards to the work holding there, if you're doing high volume work and you're, you're making the same part on a VMC every day, you can get hydraulic or pneumatic work holding solutions. So the robot can put the part in, the work holding opens, close, it communicates with the control system. Or if you're doing different work all the time, palletization, as you mentioned, is, is, is absolutely uh, perfect but I think automation is is one of the biggest aspects of all of this it's the cream of the creme mm. to get that efficiency cream of the creme isn't it cream of the crop and, and this oh is gosh. where there's is it cream of the crop I thought there's, so. there's two ways of looking creme at de la this. creme creme de la creme that's, that's the, the one. one there's buying a machine that already has automation fully integrated into it mm. and we don't want to move into five axis because that's not what we're talking about today or adding um, automation to a machine I interestingly went to a tool maker who has just um, bought an Aroa system uh, to go with a Quasar vertical machining center. Yeah. And he's a tool maker, you know. Now he's doing that because he wants to make sure that his spindle on his VMC is running for as, as long as it possibly can. And he's gonna be loading sort of bolsters, big tools onto, it, onto the Aroa system, pulling one out and putting another one in. So he hasn't got to, you know, you imagine doing that with a crane, you've got to open the doors, you've got to get a crane yeah. in, crane out. So, so he's, all that work's been done outside of the machine. So the, the, there are so many options with automation to be added to the machine and they will, um, you know, unequivocally improve <laughs> wow. your, your efficiency. I think I need to lie down now. I think I need to lie down. Uh, un unequivocally, do that um, that's a beautiful one. Instantaneous, that is in uh, to go. I mean, what have we done? Oh, Swallowed a dictionary. One example, though, and I've got, to, I've got to use this example. I think we were talking earlier before the show, there's a company that's got 21 VMCs and they, they're using one particular work holding solution per VMC. And they believe that everything they're doing is absolutely perfectly correct. Um, but just imagine if they incorporate 
some of the solutions that we've discussed today, potentially they could be doing all of their work on four or five VMCs. And, and that is mm. as crazy as, as, it's not crazy actually, yeah. it's reality. You know, some of these solutions that we're discussing can make a massive impact. Mm. Yeah.